Hey, what is up everybody? This is Cam Jennings coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com. Hope you guys are doing amazing out there. I want to welcome you to another episode of Thoughts on a Walk. Today, I want to talk to you about bowel movements and desperation. This is a weird topic. But we're going to get into why it's so weird too. But I got a couple, a couple of lessons for you here. A couple points I want to make to you. Have you ever, and I don't mean to be gross here, but this is going to be a little gross. So if you don't like gross stuff, you can't handle it, time to bounce. Now, have you ever like had to use the bathroom? Like you had to have a bowel movement and uh, there was nowhere to go. <laughs> there was nowhere to go. Like the closest toilet was a ways away. And you knew you had to just hold it until you got there. And that was it. And I mean, you're sweating. You're sitting there and just sweating, trying to hold it as best you can. Just trying to make it to that toilet. Something like that's happened to me before. I remember my, my sister and I were at the hospital for a family member, you know, a few years ago. And, uh, you know, we were just hanging around. They were having surgery. We were just hanging around, being there for support. We decided we were going to go get some, something to eat. So we went to Burger King, you know, to get some burgers and some fries. And we came back to the hospital. And uh, there was nowhere to park close to the hospital. We had to park a couple blocks away. So we decided we'd sit in the, sit in the, the truck and we'd... We'd eat our Burger King a couple blocks from the hospital. And uh, what happened was, you know, I got about halfway through that meal and man, I had to go. Something about that fast food, that Burger King, nah, it just didn't, it didn't jive with me. And I had to go. It was like one of those situations where I had to go instantly. I was desperate. There was nowhere to go to the bathroom. I had to walk like two blocks back to the hospital to get to a toilet. Let me tell you something. You, I mean, you would have thought, I don't even know how to describe it, the amount of desperation I had to get to a toilet the amount of urgency that I had to get to a toilet was, I can't even describe how important it was for me to get to a toilet. Like it was very, very important. Like I was centrally focused. I wasn't thinking about anything else. But uh, kind of a stupid, funny story. But uh, that's how it was, man. I was, I was desperate. And then, when uh, I finally made it, now I'll tell you what, I was so happy. You couldn't have thought of a goal that I would rather have achieved. But I think about that. And I think about those long walks. I'm talking every step. Every step was torturous. Trying to get to that hospital and get to that toilet. Every step was torturous, man. I was trying to block out visions of crapping myself on the way back to the hospital. I was just in a bad way, man. It was just one step at a time. And I was 100% focused on that one thing. Now I'll ask you this. And I know, whether you want to admit it or not, I know all of you out there know exactly what I'm talking about. You've all been in that position before. At one point or another in your life. And I'm going to ask you, and you don't have to answer to me in the comment section or anything like that. But I'm going to ask you to ask yourself... Have you ever approached any goal in your business with that degree of desperation? With that degree of focus? Because I'm telling you, 
if you want to achieve your goals, that's the kind of focus you want. You want that kind of central focus. Acting in desperation. A lot of people say they are, but they're not. So what I'm telling you is, once you've been in the, that kind of a position, and I know you all have, and you've made it to the toilet you're trying to make it to, the next time you're in that position, because it usually happens to us more than once, we're not always conveniently located next to a toilet. But the next time it happens, you'll have some muscle memory from the last time it happened. And you'll know, I've done this before. I can make it to that toilet. I can do it. Now, that's where the confidence comes from. Small successes in your business, little by little. Take stock in your successes. Remember, you've done it before, you can do it again. And when you haven't done it before, you need to move with a central focus, with a, with a, with a bit of desperation. And I'm not saying it's gonna be perfect, but I mean, it's hard to recreate something that urgent. But I am saying that's what you need to think about. You need to think along those lines. If you know, you know what that feels like already. That's why I use the story, because you already know what that feels like. If you don't move with that degree of urgency in your business, then you're probably not focused enough on the task at hand. So that's, that's the first point that I wanted to make for you today. The second point that I wanted to make for you today is that of standing out. I know you know this, but the internet is so full of people trying to do like the same thing that you're trying to do. So when you put content out there, because you're trying to attract attention, you're trying to get people interested in what you have going on, you need to really think about the kind of content that you're putting out there. Now, the story I just told you was very unique very strange, very weird, kind of gross, but you can all relate to it. No one else is telling a story like that, just me. So it makes it unique, it makes it interesting. It makes me stand out. So, I, you know, you should think about stuff like that when you're putting content out there. Because if you don't think about it, then you're just going to be a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. And you know what happens with copies. The older they get, the more times they get copied, the less pure they are. The more they degrade. Right? You need to find a way back to your original self. I know that you've been learning a lot from a lot of different people out there. But you have to find a way to filter all these lessons that you've been learning through your original personality. And you need to find a way back to your original self. Because you got to remember, especially if you're reading business books, or you're taking the same business courses everyone else has taken, you got to remember everyone else is consuming the same crap you're consuming. They've all heard the same lessons you, you're hearing. And... Uh, You know, you got to find a way to, you know, make that a little more unique. For example, just for instance, I, I remember just a few episodes ago, I was telling people about three free resources. One of those free resources was the Gary Halbert letter. People say, hey, Gary Halbert, one of the greatest copywriters of all time. You know, well known. I should learn from him. Yeah, you can learn from him, sure. Now, the problem is when you start to sound like him, you start to act like him, you start to move in the same way as he moved. Well, that's a problem because there's already been a Gary Halbert. And not only that, there's been thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people who have been referred to Gary Halbert's stuff. So 
you're not going to sound like some kind of cool copyright writer, marketer guy when you start sounding like Gary Halbert. You're going to sound like a Gary Halbert wannabe. And you're not going to move the needle and you're not going to get attention. You have to find a way to consider the, some of the things that he's doing principle-wise and filter that through your own unique sense of self. Again, when you're studying people, you're always going to move into their territory a little bit. That's to totally natural. But you have to find a way back to your own unique self if you want to be successful. That's my opinion on it. That's how I've tried to do it. Whenever you're actively studying someone, you're always going to kind of move in more of a direction that they go. But you have to find a way. Again, you have to find a way to come back to your own unique self. Anyways, that's all I got today. I hope this has been helpful to you. If any of this stuff resonates with you, be sure to get over to epicconversions.com. Sign up for uh, my free newsletter. And I'll see you on the in the inbox. Peace now.